Now, ladies, brace yourselves. The results are in for the FHM magazine annual poll of the world's 100 sexiest women. We didn't make it. <laughs> Big surprise. If it was the world's top 103, four yes, sexes would have yes. been in there. Still wouldn't have a hope in hell. <laughs> OK. But here's the beauties who did. In fifth place, it's page three girl, Keely Hazel. Very nice, too. In at number four, Saturday singer Frankie Sanford. In at third place comes underwear model Marissa Miller. And just missing out on the top spot this year is American actress Megan Fox. And for the second year running, the world's most desirable woman, apparently, is our very own Cheryl Cole. Yay! Well done, Cheryl. She works what God gave her. So, what do we make of the list? And what do we think really makes a woman sexy? Well, isn't it nice, actually, to see so many different shapes and sizes in the... T well, yeah. they're all very gorgeous shapes, I have to say, but, you know, that's what we fantasise that we look like. But um, it is nice to see it's blondes, brunettes, some flat-chested, <laughs> some... <laughs> and, uh, you know, arthritis. And uh, it is nice to see that they've all been... <laughs> Stop it before we go any further. It is nice to see that men have got different tastes. That's what I'm trying to yeah. say. That they don't all go for a certain. Is look. there anybody there that, on that list that you think, yeah, I'd, I wish I looked like that? Probably Megan Fox. Mm. You know, because I'm quite curvy. I don't know if anybody's noticed. <laughs> Actually, the word is fat. I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, um, you are not. No, I, I, you know, I've got curves, and and that's who I would probably love to look like. Mm. I'm never in a million years going to look like that, but. I'm just so glad to see there's a couple of our girls in there as well, the Saturdays, and, you know... Who do you uh, think Ed would um, plump for on that list? All of them, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be bothered. <laughs> but actually, he goes for... He goes for... Uh, <laughs> if all at once, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but, no, he, he's, uh, he goes for... Um, the, my type... You know, he goes for dark hair, dark eyes, and... Uh, well, that is perfect fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say... <laughs> He's finding out, no, it's not Well, like Mr. It was. Spain, I have to tell you, Mr. Spain would go for the girl, the blonde, oh, with the really? big knockers, because that's his ideal. That he hence, <laughs> hence, he's married me, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs a rest, obviously, from yeah. time to time. Um, Keely there. Keely, yes, that would sexy, probably... Uh, no, well, interestingly enough, you see, to me, that's... Uh, her, she could be anybody, couldn't she? Yeah. She could be any girl with quite large breasts in that pose with the sunglasses. I think uh, Frankie it's Sanford's... It's to wear your scarf, isn't it? Yes. Mm. I, I like it that Frankie, uh, Frankie Sanford's in there, because I think she's, she's sexy, because she's... It's that, the look in the eye, she's cheeky, and she, and she looks like she's fun, mm. um, which I think probably is a lot, you know, to do with sexy. Well, <laughs> so I go for the jokes. I don't <laughs> <laughs> you like well, a good laugh. You know, I do, yeah. You know what, for me, I'm really pleased to see Cheryl Cole up there. Yeah. At number one, because I do think that, you know, okay, so she's had her teeth fixed and she's got some hair extensions in, but fundamentally, this is a very beautiful woman who I think is, is her, her, has become sexier in my eyes mm -hmm. in this last year because I think of the way she's faced up to the problems in her personal life mm -hmm. by being dignified, graceful, and constantly rising above the bad behaviour that has, has, must have been so terribly upsetting for her. And I think that, for me, is what makes her really attractive. Mm. I have to agree, actually, because I think it's not just about bodies, is it? It's, it's, you know, it's what goes on behind someone's eyes, like you say. It's whether they're thinking, whether they're actually thinking about something. Sometimes I don't think men do well. I was going to say, do you think men are really bothered what? what's going on behind <laughs> the eyes? <laughs> no, but not just men. I mean, if, if we're talking about what we find sexy, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I think that um, intelligent women are really sexy. For me, the most beautiful and sexy and is Goldie Horn. I always thought that she was really pretty, mm -hmm. talented and funny and, and really clever. really sparkles, doesn't she? She's, really, she really twinkles. Yeah. But I think that getting back to Cheryl Cole, I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that we know she's quite real. She's a real person and we can connect with her even though she looks so perfect. Yeah, yeah. no, she's somebody to aspire to. Uh, my, probably out of my era, she was not my era, she was older than me, but Ava Gardner, I always thought, was incredibly sexy. Oh, stunning. Because yeah. she had the yeah. most beautiful body and the clothes then... That's not Rita Hayworth. Oh, no, that's Ava Gardner, yes. Yeah. There's one of Rita Hayworth dressed like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's curvy and it's classy and it's, you know... Interestingly, we never, ever saw those women looking anything other than beautiful. And you do wonder, in reality, whether they, you know, 
they do actually ever look like us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they always look, you always get the photographic images and they always look perfection. Yes. They must have off days. Yeah, but I'm guessing from the absence of us on that list that no is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> It's a harsh truth, but today is honesty day, and I'm going to keep it real, girls. We ain't got a hope. <laughs> okay, it's the end.